सोशल साइंस टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड पार्ट टू इकोनॉमिक्स चैप्टर थर्टी रूरल डेवलपमेंट एक्सरसाइजेस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स एडिशनल मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स विद द कलरफुल माइंड मैप लेट्स बिगिन विद द फर्स्ट फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स विद सुटेबल वर्ड्स वन द ट्रू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इट्स विलेजेस डैश अवर आंसर इज महात्मा गांधी सेकेंड आफ्टर द 73rd amendment act to the constitution dash re level of panchayat raj institutions have came into existence next three panchayat institutions operate under dash democratic principles four in order to bring together poor rural women and make them financially independent dash women self help groups have been brought into existence next question number 2 answer the following in one sentence each for you explain the meaning of rural development answer rural development means improving the social and economic status of rural people through proper use of local natural and human resources next six what is meant by decentralization of power answer decentralization of power means giving administrative powers and responsibilities of development to the people of the village themselves next question number 7 name the three levels of panchayat raj institutions first gram panchayat second taluka panchayat and third zila panchayat next eight mention any two housing programs first pradhan mantri awas yojana and second basava vasati yojana next nine which work of women is not considered labor and sir the household chores performed by women at home are not considered labor next question number 3 answer the following questions in 5 to 6 sentence each then how is the economic situation in in the rural areas of india our answer the economic situation in rural india is weak and unequal compared to urban areas most people in villages depend on agriculture yet its contribution to national income is very low poverty unemployment and lack of basic amenities lack like health education and transport are widespread due to modernization and industrialization rural cottage industries are disappearing many villagers migrate to cities in search of for job increasing the rural urban gap hence developing rural area is essential for balanced national growth next question number 11 explain the briefly the significance of rural development and sir rural development is a vital because nearly 70% of india's population lives in villages it aims to remove poverty unemployment and illiteracy and improve living standards providing basic facilities like education health housing electricity and transport empowers rural people promoting agriculture related activities like dairy dairy farming a uh, fishery and poultry makes rural life self reliant it helps reduce migration to cities and creates employment within villages thus rural employ development ensures balanced and inclusive national progress next question number 12 explain gandhi ji's concept of gram swaraj in the light of decentralization and sir mahatma gandhi concept of gram swaraj means self reliant and self sufficient villages he believed true democracy begins from the village level where people manage their own affairs decentralization gives power and responsibility to villagers for their development it promotes equality independence and the spirit of cooperation through the panchayat raj system villages can plan and implement local development in this way gandhi ji's dream of empowered and independent villages can be realized next question number 13 what is the role of panchayat raj institutions in rural development 
पंचायत राज इंस्टीट्यूशन प्ले मेजर रोल इन इन्वॉल्विंग विलेजर्स इन डेवलपमेंट एक्टिविटीज दे प्रोवाइड एसेंशियल एम्यूनिटीज लाइक रोड्स ड्रिंकिंग वाटर टॉयलेट एंड स्कूल बिल्डिंग्स दे इम्प्लीमेंट हाउसिंग एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्कीम्स सच एज अ मनरेगा एंड आवास योजना पंचायत एनकरेज एजुकेशन हेल्थ एंड हाइजीन एंड सपोर्ट सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स फॉर वुमेन they help in developing agriculture cottage industries and social welfare programs thus panchayat raj institutions strengthen the democracy and promote all round rural development next we will take few mcq questions for your comprehension let's begin with first according to mahatma gandhi ji the true development of india depends primarily upon the development of options are a b c and d our right option is error second one b villages second which of the following best defines rural development as mentioned in the chapter options are here a b c and d our right option is second one b here improvement of rural standard of living through optimal use of local resources next question number 3 which of the following constitutional amendments gave constitutional status to the panchayat raj institution options are here a b c and d our right option is third one c here 73rd amendment 1992 next question number 4 the panchayat raj system in india is based on which fundamental principle options are here a b c and d our right option is second one b here democratic decentralization next five which of the following correctly represents the three tier structure of panchayat raj institutions options are here a b c and d or right option second one b here zilla panchayat at the top level middle taluka panchayat and bottom level gram panchayat next six the concept of gram swaraj primarily advocates options are here a b c and d our right option is second one here village level self rule and self reliance next question number 7 the pura a model proposed by dr apg abdul kalam does not include which of the following links options are here a b c and d our right option is the final one the here political link next eight which of the following programs aims at providing urban like facilities in rural areas options are here a b c and d right option is here first one a pura next question number 9 which of the following is not directly a housing scheme for rural people options are here a b c and d our right option is final one d here swarna jayanti gram swarojgar yojana it is a employment generation scheme not a housing program next question number 10 which scheme provides legal guarantee of 100 days of employment in rural india our options are here a b c and d our right option is second one b here manrega next 11 which of the following best describes decentralization of power in the context of indian rural governance our options are here a b c and d our right option is second one b here giving administrative authority to village level institutions x 12 according to the chapter which sector provides the least contribution to the india's national income despite employing the majority our options are here a b c and d our right option is first one here here primary sector next 13 which of the following statements regarding women self help groups s h g s is incorrect options are here a b c and d our right option is here third one c they function only under private management without any government aid next question number 14 in the panchayat raj structure which level acts as the link between the gram panchayat and zila panchayat options are here a b c and d 
और राइट ऑप्शन इज फर्स्ट वन ए हियर तालुका शायर नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन द अन रिकोगनाइज एंड अनपेड वर्क फॉर मैन एट होम इज ऑप्शन आर हियर ए बी सी एंड डी और राइट ऑप्शन इज सेकेंड वन बी एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम नेशनल इनकम कैलकुलेशन एंड फाइनली माइंड मैप रूरल डेवलपमेंट डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन इवल्यूशन ऑफ पावर एंड पंचायत राज थ्री टायर सिस्टम ग्राम तालुका एंड जिला पंचायत एंड वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स